What is good Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla stock and what I think the future holds for Tesla. I'm also going to be answering the question, will Tesla crash tomorrow? I'm going to talk about what on earth the technical indicators are showing and what on earth is going on with the market as we have some big updates coming out from President Joe Biden and the Fed and the US central banks that could definitely affect the market going forward. I'm also going to talk about the latest pieces of news affecting Tesla and what Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend Elon Musk has been tweeting about as we do have some big updates that just came that make me very excited for the future of this company now before i say anything about elon musk however before i talk about tesla's share price or what i think is going to play out i do have to mention some very important things first first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for educational purposes only and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me benefits the entire tesla community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you do sign up for mumu and deposit a hundred dollars you will not only qualify for up to five free stocks each with up to $3,500, but you're also going to qualify for free real-time level 2 data for US stocks with $0 in trading commissions. So please check that out if you guys want. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So this is Tesla's share price. It's currently down about 3.38%. And even though it's in the red, guys, we can see this inverse head and shoulders formation that's forming right over here, which makes me a little bit bearish going into tomorrow because Tesla did drop below the support I was telling you guys about. Now, before I go into more detail about this, guys, and why I'm a little bit bearish going into tomorrow alone. I am still very bullish for next week because we do have earnings coming out next week and many bullish catalysts for the entire market. Now, Tesla was not the only thing in the red. There was a piece of news that may have played a role in Tesla being in the red, but it's also the SPY and the NASDAQ. They're all in the red. The SPY is currently down about 1.04% and the NASDAQ is down 1.15%. So the entire market took a bit of a beating today after what Joe Biden just announced that could definitely affect it and other things as well. So I'm going to quickly talk about those first before I go into more detail about Tesla. So Look at this right here, guys. President Joe Biden backs Fed Chair Jerome Powell, likely monetary policy tightening as inflation rages. So in this case, guys, Joe Biden is stating that he's in support of a more hawkish Fed, and that in turn is not really good for the market entirely as it does mean that the fed's going to become stricter it's going to incentivize money to be moved in different directions and it can lead to yield curves rising in the upward direction which is going to make revenue on other sources of income for these big institutions and maybe big tech stocks to look less enticing now we also have this risk rate over here as the u.s central bankers sets sites on a march rate hike once again hike rates may end up starting in march which can lead to mortgages already going up i mean they're already going up because of this and other things like that so the market right now is looking a little bit bearish for the short term but i am going to be a little bit more bullish going into next week because we do have tech earnings coming out a lot more earnings in my opinion which are going to be a lot better now i believe jp morgan had their earnings report and it was not very good and that in turn is what caused the market to be red yesterday and we are kind of continuing on that momentum that in turn is affecting tesla and here's the important thing about tesla now i know i'm not drawing this out but i was showing you guys that look we were in this upward trend we went from 886 at our low point before we bounced off of that then we went to about 985 then we kept above 1000 for the last couple of days of last week that's an indicator that tesla was on this upward trend but then we we recently just dipped below 1000 right and i told you guys we had support at 1000 if that didn't help i'd be a little bit more bearish and that's what ended up playing out we have this inverse head and shoulders forming once again now that means that going into next week i'm going to be more bullish but for tomorrow and for the upcoming days i wouldn't be surprised if we ended up testing the 980 dollar level now let's look at what other indicators are showing as well because these in turn will affect tesla's share price in a more you know meticulous manner we could really look at what's going on so look at this right here let me bring up this chart real quick and once this loads guys we can actually see this in more detail currently the macd is flipping and it is looking a little bit more bearish as it flipped with the nine day moving average and tesla is now trading below every single one of the exponential moving averages dipping below the one thousand dollar level of support rsi is now a little bit oversold guys so i guess this could be a little bit bullish for next week or maybe the next upcoming weeks but for the next 
uh, the for tomorrow, which is Thursday and Friday, I am going to be a little bit more bearish. I think Tesla is going to continue to dip a little bit, and I wouldn't be surprised if we end up touching the nine hundred and eighty dollar level. So be very prepared for that. As CCI is also dropping as well, indicating that we could end up dipping a little bit more. So be prepared for that, guys. I'm not saying I don't believe in Tesla. I believe this thing is going to go to many thousands of dollars a share uh, in the future. But for tomorrow, I am going to be a little bit bearish. Now, even though that is going on, I want to talk about this right now because it wasn't just the Fed affecting it, right? We have this piece of news coming out as the Tesla driver faces many felony charges after what happened involving the autopilot. And this is basically what happened in 2019 as two people ended up losing their lives because of it. And you know, it's it's really sad that this is happening, but the driver is facing felony charges for what they ended up doing. So some people blame it on the autopilot. I'm not 100% sure quite yet. It was, it does state that it was uh, active at the time. So that's not necessarily a good piece of news, but relative to how many accidents there are, obviously, I still presume that autopilot tends to be a lot more safe. It's just that because this news is now coming up again, I think that also played a role in this bearish momentum that's forming. So that alongside the overall stock market is what's kind of causing it to dip. But the fear and greed index is actually flipping to be a little bit more greedy. And that's because of the fact that there are a lot of people that are interested in buying the dips right now. And also because of the fact that earnings are coming out for next week. So the sentiment of the market is not horrible just yet. So the S&P guys, and I'm going to bring up the S&P one last time because I want to mention this. The S&P is not in a, how should I say, bear market just yet. We're kind of seeing those moments where it dips a little bit here and there, but I still think we can continue to run before the real bear market star starts in the upcoming months. That's the way I see it. So we could still see a very bullish reversal for next week. And I am looking forward to that. And I think it's very probable that's going to happen to Tesla if we have a very good earnings report, which I think we will. So I also want to talk about this right here. Basically, the Motley Fool reported that, look, the yield curve going up definitely affected stocks and many tech stocks as well. And that in turn affected Tesla too. So like I said before, guys, it does look a little bit more bearish. The MACD is indicating we have a little bit more bearish momentum, and we will probably continue to drop a little bit down, just like it says right here. The stock's decline on Wednesday is likely simply a continuation of the down pressure of growth stocks. So we could continue to be a little bit red tomorrow. So look out for the $980 level of support. But remember, guys, it's probably not going to last too long because we have earnings coming out and some other big things that could definitely drive the price up. Now, to end the video, guys, I want to reassure some very important things from Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend. Basically, this person known, known as Allen equals BRU. I'm pretty sure I said that totally wrong, but uh, this person said that hi at Elon Musk, although in Europe FSD is still not available, it would be very interesting if we could practice. Do you agree? And they're basically showing that they have a, a hundred safety score, which is really, really good. And if we go re all the way down right here, Elon Musk stated, okay, someone stated that I think everyone with basic autopilot should be able to see the safety score and promotes safe driving. Elon Musk said, okay, that would be very cool in my opinion, but it does depend on regulations by the EU and Europe, but it does look like Elon Musk is interested in actually expanding to the FSD testing in Europe. And I think that would be very cool, but it does depend on regulations by the EU and other European countries. But once again, he is, he does look very optimistic about it since he said, okay, and that could be very awesome going forward. Now, I want to end the video with this right here. Elon Musk stated, believe in the future. Don't quit on your dreams, guys. We have some big things coming out. And I think that's going to be very, very awesome for the future because, guys, believe in the future. Exactly what Elon Musk is telling us. Never, ever quit on your dreams. And that's why we have to keep on pushing forward, even if we see Tesla a little bit in the red. So that's what I have for this one, guys. I really hope you all have a great rest of the day. This video is a little bit shorter. I know that. But I just want every one of you to have a great, great, great day. Please never quit on your dreams. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you in the next one. Tesla is going to go to the moon eventually. I am bullish for next week. But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a little bit red this week. That's what I have for this one, guys. Never, ever quit, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Tesla to the moon and peace out.